I've been hearing a whole lot of chirping lately about Aaron Rodgers. The man everybody was ready to write off through the first six weeks. He's the greatest quarterback ever. No one has ever played the game like him. Folks have even gone as far as to say he's the Michael Jordan of the NFL. Let's just stop the foolishness. Rodgers is not the best ever. He's not even the best quarterback in the league right now. That would be Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. I don't know how you define greatness. Is it by how athletic a player is or how exciting they are by being second best? Then yes, Aaron fits the bill. But how I define greatness is by being the best at what you do over and over and over, AKA being consistently dominant, clutch, and of course, the ring count. Tom Brady is potentially on his way to his seventh Super Bowl. All the other quarterbacks in the league combined have been to 12. He's approaching his fifth Lombardi. All the other quarterbacks in the league combined have just eight. There are three absolutes in life, death, taxes, and Brady in the postseason. The man has never won a Super Bowl with an all-pro wide receiver. I know what you're thinking now. Well, Brady, he has Bill Belichick. I've even heard the argument that Belichick would trade Brady for Rodgers. First of all, stop acting like Mike McCarthy's a slouch. What's his specialty? Offense. What does Rodgers play? Thank you. What's Bill Belichick? A defensive genius. No O-line, no problem. An injury plague team, he doesn't skip a beat. So the next time you want to compare Aaron Rodgers to an NBA player, try Steph Curry. Both are game-changing talent with one ring and unlimited potential. But we all know who the best in the NBA is. That'd be LeBron James, just like we know who the best in the NFL is, Thomas Brady.